Happy Friday. I hope you guys are doing well wherever you are. So we have been talking about goal setting, goal achievement. We started with your goal of doubling your income. And then we also talked about on week two, what are you currently doing that is not helping you towards your goal of doubling your income. For example, you are not writing proposal, making sales call. And then the reason behind you not making those sales call is what are you worried will happen if you make the sales call. And the biggest worry here is maybe you are worried you will fail, you will be rejected, people will say no. And, and, and the logic here is what we talked about last week is as much as you have a goal of doubling your income, you also have a hidden goal of not being rejected. And the hidden goal of not being rejected is much stronger than the goal of you doubling your income. So that's where you find yourself stuck. So you have one foot on the accelerator and one foot on the brakes. There is, there is energy, but there is no movement. So you always feel stuck. You have good declarations, but you have another hidden goal of not feeling uh, rejected. And today we are going to talk about what is the big assumption that is holding you back and that is driving the hidden goal of not being rejected. So let's talk about this. So your goal, doubling your income. What could be your big assumption that is making you not achieve that goal? Perhaps maybe you could assume that uh, no one can double them. And that's a big assumption that no one can double the income so why try so that's keeping you from making those sales calls and those proposals so evaluating your big assumption will help you achieve your goal so if you assume that cannot happen I've never seen anyone who double the income you will believe that it will be your truth and you will not get any energy to try it out because you don't believe it will happen so let me ask you a question do you believe you can double your income yes you have never doubled your income that's the fact but do you believe that you can actually double your income think about it What's, what's the big assumption that's making you not believe that? And if you don't believe it, do not try it. Maybe you're assuming it has never happened to anyone that I know, so this cannot happen. Maybe you're assuming you don't have all the resources, all the connections to make it happen. Uh, maybe you are assuming you do not have the time and energy to pursue doubling your income. Maybe you are assuming um, you need a better job to double your income. Maybe you are assuming it's only people who are doing business that can double their income. Uh, there are many assumptions that may have that will hold you back from attempting to double your income. So the starting point for goal achievement is looking at what are the big, we call them big assumptions that are driving your behavior. Remember, belief, which is the big assumption, drives behavior. Your behavior will drive your performance. For example, if you believe no one else has doubled their income, that belief will drive your behavior of not trying and that behavior is a result of your current performance so if you want to change your current performance don't only change your behavior but you go to your belief system and to change your belief system you need to evaluate what are the big assumptions that is driving your behavior so that's just part one making sure that you identify what is holding you back but there's another part too of how do you overcome 
that big assumption it has never happened to anyone in my family i need maybe a connection i, I need a loan from somewhere those are some of the beliefs unconsciously you may be having that is keeping you away from doubling the income maybe you feel you don't have the skills expertise the connection a good job uh, time don't have the time to double your income uh, and 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 those are the, and people have doubled their income surprise surprise people have actually doubled their income and um, you can also double your income but if you believe you can't you have created your own results and this can 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 be on any any topic it can be on finances in your family it can be in your health uh, let me let me give an example of my health i when i got a stroke um yes i got a stroke for those who don't know i was paralyzed on this left side i i believed that i will get well and that belief drove my behavior of working hard doing the exercise taking the medicine and this is the performance this is the result of my belief that i can raise my hand like this i can eat i can see i can walk now there are people who have been stuck with stroke it took me nine months the people who have been stuck with stroke who got stroke earlier than me my 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 belief is their belief or the big assumption on where they are is driving their behavior of maybe you are not exercising what's the point this is my fate and your current result and circumstance so you can see how your big assumptions are very strong let me give you one last example there's a study that was done uh, in, in the US where you had seven patients who are told by their doctors they had heart issues they were told by their doctors um, they need to take medication otherwise they will die they will literally die now how many took their medication there were seven of them For those who said seven, wrong. Only one out of seven took their medication. Remember their life was at stake. They had the power to buy medication or insurance, but yet they were not taking the medication. But only one out of seven actually took their medication and refill the medication and continue taking the medication why did the six not take the medication we'll talk about it next week uh thank you for joining the call uh you guys have a very lovely february the month of love take care bye bye and god bless